Okay, time for some hands-on on the vehicle with coil on plug 09 Ford Flex. Which cylinder is actually misfiring? That's why we had a broadcast last year that you can look up on the Delphi YouTube site and find all about mode six, because mode six was really kind of made for us to determine which cylinder is misfiring. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna look at simple power to the two wire coil on plug on key up. We're gonna look at it two different ways, once with a meter, once with the scope. And of course, I'm using the back probe of the two connections. Now, since we have a primary winding, which we actually are hooked into right here, power from the ignition fuse goes to one side of the winding and a ground, when the PCM applies it, goes to the other side of the winding when we want the primary winding to saturate, build up a magnetic field, so we can then collapse it and create the self-inductance, which causes the mutual inductance of the much longer larger secondary winding to make the spark. So what will we see between chassis ground with the meter, I got my black lead on ground, and the red wire going to the ignition coil. Let's go ahead and see, turn the key on, watch the meter, 13 volts. Now, if you wanna see if the coil has continuity, it's not an open circuit. Let's say you had a P0301 on the cylinder and you're not sure what it is. Really quick, something you could do before going into further, you know, the air, fire, fuel, which is it? Just check the coil out real quick. It's easy to get to in this model. You have to take the plenum off like some of those back cylinders. And we'll move our lead from my back probing from the positive feed to the negative feed, the side that gets the ground from the PCM. Guess what we got here? 13 volts. What are we measuring? We're measuring open circuit voltage. Since there's no ground applied by the PCM to the negative side of the ignition coil primary winding, we're just simply seeing all that power going through the winding waiting for that ground. So we're seeing the source, not the source side, we measured that originally. Now we're seeing the side that gets the ground before the ground's applied. Now when we start the engine, go ahead and start it up, Allison. The voltage is slightly lower in the meter because we're seeing an average on versus off time. It's mostly off and a little bit on. That's what the, bro the voltage down just a tad. Now, if we change it to something more realistic with the meter, because the meter's now seeing the, the negative supplied ground from the PCM, we should see a pulsing circuit. We'll turn it to frequency. And sure enough, we see a steady 25, 26 hertz. That's 25 to 30 times per second, that cylinder is hitting, that coil is working. So that gives us two or three things. We're getting a pulse from the ignition coil. We've got a good primary winding for both power and the ground from the PCM when it's applied. So really one connection with your voltmeter into the coil on plug at the right spot, at the side the PCM supplies the ground, checks the fuse, checks the coil winding for continuity, and when you start the engine, checks the coil driver in the PCM. Three things check, one spot to hook your meter. Hopefully, if you're not doing it that way, you will because that can save some time.